If you're thinking of buying a new TV, there is so much terminology out there. So we're gonna try to explain what all that mind-boggling jargon means. These days, if you buy a big screen TV, it will most likely be a 4K set that includes what's known as HDR capability. And the type of TV will likely be an LCD or LED. What do these terms actually mean? Luckily for us, we have access to the Consumer Reports Television Test Lab, where TVs are meticulously put through their paces. Jim. Wow. Hey, Jack. <laughs> what an incredible room just full of TV sets. This is like my little dream come true. Glad you were able to make it. Welcome <laughs> to, to my world. Wow. So this is one of our TV test labs. We have three in the building, and this is where we put TVs through a battery of tests to see which ones really stand out and which ones aren't so great. Think of your TV like a giant puzzle made from millions of little colored dots called pixels. The number and size of those pixels helps make the images on your screen clearer. And that brings us to our first term, 4K. I mean, one of the biggest marketing things that you'll see a 4K TV all about resolution. And what we mean by that, all these TVs have individual pixels. And so with this TV, it's got 8 million of them compared to 2 million on a regular HD set. So the colors are richer, uh, the, the images are much more clear. When you're playing 4K content, that translates into is really super fine detail that you're gonna get with one of these TVs that you won't get with a regular HD set. Our next term is HDR, a relatively new feature that can really enhance image quality. Although during testing here, it was found that not all TVs are able to show off HDR images to their full advantage. Here are two images. This demonstration gives an idea of how different an HDR enhanced image looks compared to a non-HDR image. Now we're going to talk about HDR, and that's high dynamic range. When we talk about dynamic range in music, it's the difference between the loudest and softest parts of a, of a piece. I just love those soft orchestra moments and the loud ones. When all those different instruments are balanced together, a piece of music comes alive. But when we talk about dynamic range in a television, it's about the difference between the very darkest and brightest images that the TV can reproduce. So if 4K is about the number of pixels, HDR is about better pixels. What does LCD stand for? Liquid crystal display. The thing that's really good about LCD TVs is that they have very, very bright images, and they do well in rooms that have a lot of brightness. So, you know, if you can't control the lighting in the room, uh... an LCD may be a better choice. And finally, OLED, or OLED. So OLED actually stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. So the, the great thing about OLED TVs is that they can get really black. The blacks are so rich and deep that you can actually see that, oh, there's a vampire creeping out from the corner or someone's huddled there. Who's that lurking in the shadows? Count Dracula! Thanks to Jim, I'm no longer in the dark about these TV terms. Buying a new TV, there's a lot to look for. So make sure you educate yourself on all that TV jargon. And we'll be here to answer your questions. Don't change that channel. There's more to come.